In addition to COVID-19, cybersecurity is another issue surrounding the Beijing Olympics, and experts have found flaws in the app every person going to the games has to download. So here to talk about that is David Masson, Director of Enterprise Security at cybersecurity company Darktrace. First off, what can you tell us about what you've heard about this My2022 app and what the concerns are surrounding it? Yeah, so the My22 app uh, seems to be an application uh, brought out by the Chinese authorities for people uh, attending the uh, Beijing Winter Olympics, for the athletes and, and those involved in the games. And it seems to be a, a, an information app, but also primarily for something for people to record their health status daily. Obviously, we're still in the middle of the pandemic and people need, need to know your vaccination status and whether you're feeling all right uh, that day. And, and that's for the app to use there. But the app also provides a few other things. There's a, there's a chat uh, function on there and some comms on it. Uh, and this is uh, uh, being said to uh, those attending the Olympics that uh, they need to download this while they're at the games. Right. And there have been experts who have deemed this app to have flaws. So what are the flaws and what are the worst case scenario? Should they be correct? It's possible to sidestep the encryption on the comms that comes with the app. So if you want to use the app for chatting, normally that would be uh, encrypted so people can't see or uh, can't read or hear what you're saying, but it's uh, the flaw shows that this can be sidestepped so that basically it'd be just quite open uh, communication. And uh, as I understand it, that's been, uh, that's been reported to the Chinese authorities about the app. What is the real kind of underlying concern about what information could be valuable to Chinese authorities, I guess, or what, you know, what's more of the dire side of this, of the, these consequences than what your average person would deem, you know, kind of casual information. With athletes, um, they'll have certain training programs, training regimes. Um, they'll have um, some ideas about how they're going to approach the, um, uh, the competition that they're in, whatever, and they may well want to keep that to themselves. Uh, so there is the potential for that being known to uh, to other people, perhaps to some competitors. So in terms of cybersecurity in general surrounding the 2022 Beijing Olympics, in your history in cybersecurity, what makes this games kind of unparalleled in terms of the, the lengths um, visitors are going to have to go to to protect their identities and their cyber activities in China? Well, uh, our, our Olympic Committee has advised their athletes not to take their personal devices to the Games. So that kind of says something about the scale of the threat that's, uh, that's being considered here in Canada. It's strange times that we live in. Um, cyber threat is becoming such a key feature of our, our lives. There's so much of it around there. A lot of it's been driven by the pandemic and the disruption it's brought to the whole world. So with that in mind, it probably is a good idea, it, regardless of which country you're going to, to actually give some thought about, you know, what, what do I have on my device? Should I take my own device? Uh, what te steps should I take just to, you know, just be a little bit more safer and uh, practice some good uh, cyber hygiene while I'm there? And my last question, can you just touch on the nuance of these games being held in China and what that does to everyone's preparation in terms of cybersecurity? Because obviously a game's happened not even a year ago in Japan. And, you know, it wasn't cybersecurity wasn't as much of a topic, hot topic. So can you touch on that nuance and what makes this games unique? Well, what makes these games a bit more unique compared to the ones that took place last year is guess what good old fashioned politics and diplomacy has uh, been involved. And there are a few issues around uh, that many countries around the world have uh, about what China does in the world. And in our own country, we're not sending any diplomatic uh, representation. I think that's the case for several other games. So there's a heightened element around basically good old fashioned uh, international politics. Um, but including that and including the fact that we're in a pandemic and including general cyber threat in general, you know, it's just, it's just a, a good idea for everybody who's going or is going to be involved in this dynamic, just to take some extra caution and, and have a big think before you download an app or before you use something or before guess what you click on a link or look at an attachment in an email that came from some strange person or whatever and including some of the text messages you might get so uh, heightened heightened awareness around the world so let's just have some heightened cyber hygiene for us individually